Flowback is the first stage of production after an oil and gas well has been opened. In this video, we'll briefly explain the flowback process, the importance of a flowback operator, and some unique challenges the flowback phase presents. The process of producing an oil and gas well follows six broad stages. During the drilling process, the ground is punctured and the well bore is drilled. During the completion process, the well is fracked and the pad is laid at the surface. Next is construction, which is when all the production equipment needed to flow a well is installed, including tanks, separators, and interconnecting piping. After that is what we'll be talking about today, flowback, when a well is opened and the volatile early stages of production begins. The next stage is production, when a well normalizes and produces consistently as long as downhole pressure remains. Finally, after production, as the reservoir pressures decrease, producers may choose from a variety of artificial lift options. Flowback typically lasts between 30 and 120 days. The fluid produced during this phase is a mixture of crude oil, natural gas, water, and sand. A producer's goal during this period is to manage the sandy flowback fluid and keep the well running so it can normalize and more freely flow oil and gas. The fluid first flows up the well bore and through the well head, which is often referred to as a Christmas tree. From there, it moves to sand separators. And sand separators spin the production fluid, which creates centrifugal force. This is where the bulk of the sand is processed out of the fluid. This sand is then piped to on-site frack tanks, which trucks will retrieve throughout the process. Producers then flow the fluid through a variety of separators. These include two and three phase separators, free water knockouts, and heater treaters. What sand remains sinks to the bottom of these vessels and gets processed out with the water. The key people during this phase are flowback operators. A flowback operator is a field professional who specializes in troubleshooting equipment during the flowback phase. Their job is to manage this period and keep the well flowing. Nearly all flowback operators live in a trailer on site and work 12 hours a day, seven days a week. Primary duties include recording hourly flow rates, troubleshooting equipment, and coordinating transport trucks and equipment techs on site. We have been working with flowback operators and oil producers to solve some unique challenges flowback production presents and we have designed three dump valves especially for those conditions. The T-body high pressure control valve features a robust D2 steel wear plug designed to absorb the impact from the sandy fluid while protecting your valve so you can keep your well flowing. If you need a low pressure mechanical option, our lever operated piston balance throttling dump valve pulls the seat, trim, and stem out of the flow path. This means that when the valve opens, the abrasive flow back can dump while causing less damage to these internal parts. If you're looking for a low pressure pneumatic option, our low pressure high volume valve also features a low contact flow path for abrasive fluid. Have you discovered any tips or tricks dealing with flow back? We'd love to hear from you. Comment below and share what you've learned.